Yo, what's up guys? I'm taking y'all on the field with me again today. I'm not sure what's gonna be in store for a Saturday. Pretty slow day. I don't got too many supervisors, so. But before we get our day started, you know what time it is. Clock in and you eat your breakfast. Today, I got some uh, waffle breakfast sandwich from Quick Trip. But anyway, uh, for the guys that have been asking me about those chain pie clans, apologize, I told y'all it was gonna be ready this week. I'm just having issues. Like, out here where I'm at now is not really an industrial place. I'm having issues finding somebody who could laser cut everything for me. When I put this product on the market, I want to make sure that it is legit and it's high quality. It's going to be some real nice guys. So I'm hopefully I'll have them ready this week coming up and I'll let y'all know to make sure you add my Instagram. Uh, another thing, I got some stickers coming out. A lot of people have been asking me about the Well-Lab stickers. I think they're going to be ready Monday. So I'll have that out. I'm also probably uh, going to be going to Houston soon and I'm going to be dropping off some stickers. Maybe I'm going to see if I could drop them off at Outlaw Leather or somewhere where I could just pick them up. Speaking about Houston, I actually got a job offer to go back home. I turned it down because it's only going to be 40 hours for like three or four months and I need something long term. I used to jump around from job to job because they paid more money, this and that. But honestly, me with the experience that I have now, I find that consistent money is better. I'm able to save more. I'm able to be relaxed. I don't got to be worried about a layoff. I can have future plans. I know if I'm trying to buy a house or whatever, I know it's more likely I'm going to get it because I have a stable job. So that's something to think about. Only leave if the job pays more and it's at least a year. But at the end of the day, it's whatever you think is best. Right, this is what we're going to be doing today. I got a 90 that goes on this flange and this tea back here but man check out my pancake it is done with dude i dropped it so many times i'm gonna switch over to motherhood i've been having this for like a year and i never even used it i got brand new leather on here dude, this is pretty old though look at my zachary sticker i work with zachary's one of my favorite companies so right now i got a regular lens in here i usually use my uh jackson but i'm gonna go ahead and use my weld beast lens today I haven't used it in a while. I like it though, it's real good. You have to check it out. You don't have that many glares. You can just see strictly where you're welding at. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that one and I'm gonna get over here on these soccer welds. Now, for those of y'all trying to become rig welders, you have to know the basics of fitting. I'm not the best fitter, but I know how to do basic stuff. We got a flange with a soccer weld 90. You gotta make sure this is perfectly leveled and this has to match that so once you got that going on you put one tack right here then you level it like this you know right now it's hanging but whenever you tack it you can lift it up so i got the remote set about 50 right now i'm gonna put a tack on top this leveled and this is leveled oh it moved a little bit you always want to make sure that it's good before you start good tack on top once you put the tack on top, your row is fine, so you don't need these no more, which is the two hole pins. You might want to get you a square. You can get these from uh, Lowe's and cut it out. You put this right here and your square over here, and this has to match. So I got about a one-eighth gap, so this has to come up. The good thing about putting the tack on top, it allows you to pull it up a little bit. I don't have a hammer. You never have a hammer when you need one. Oh, found a hammer. No, I need to hit it with something else. Still didn't work. All right, it's starting to piss me off. I'll just use this. Too much now. Uh, it's pissing me off, dude. You tell it's pissing me off because I'm using the square as a hammer now. We're almost there. One little tap should do it. 2,000 years later. Got it. Perfect. It's like the bottom now. About time. Now. I can do the sides. For the sides, I just kind of eyeball it honestly with the pipe. Pick a flat side. It has to go a little bit. I need to clean my work area. Looks good. Now you take the sides. Now what you want to do is you want to make it easier for you. So I like to put, whenever I weld suck welds, if I can, I like to have everything flat just because it's easier to weld. When I do the soccer welds, uh, I like to do half and one pass, so kind of dry wash it a little bit. See, you know, see what works for you. Uh, usually, I can usually tell, so I'm gonna start off right here, go all the way around, and then jump to the other side. Now I'm gonna do the other half. y'all think you like it or you don't another pass or what on to the next 
So it's after lunch. He did tell me that I have a leak on one of my soccer welds that I'm gonna show y'all what happened with it. I got like a little pinhole cause I got some little bit of air. But it is what it is, it happens, you know. I'm gonna show y'all the good and bad and I'm gonna show you how I fix it. All right guys, it came to that socket weld that's leaking. It's actually a thermal weld and they have like a little pinhole. I'm guessing I had got some wind, but I'm about to bring my truck around and uh, fix that little leak. It ain't nothing though. But you can tell where I forgot to wrap it around. I had supposed to put two passes, but I only did one pass right there. So guys, if I was y'all, just the two passes. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and fix this repair. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal it off right here where I didn't wrap the whole weld around. So I'm gonna seal that. Then I'm gonna throw one more pass all the way around just to make sure that everything is good. Now, if you're fixing a repair and you put metal on it and it still leaks, what you need to do is grind it all the way down until you find that little pinhole. If not, it's gonna keep traveling. At, uh, when I first started welding, when I was at the shipyard, the way that we'll test all the welds is just air, air test it. And sometimes you'll have five or six passes of weld trying to catch a lead and it'll just keep traveling. So an older welder told me, it was like, hey, just grind it all the way down until you get to the root, then seal it up and you should be fine. So let's, let's fix this weld. I'm not sure you can see it, but I'm traveling away from my tear rig. Okay, I went ahead. I sealed it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that one more pass around just to make sure everything is good. Okay, I went ahead and fixed it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Not too bad, it don't look bulky even though I did three passes on it, which is kind of overkill, but check it out. Hey Dana, you seen I got it repaired? Do what? I had it repaired, you see that? Yeah. How you feel about it? Feel good water or what? Huh? Feel good water? Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> A lot of y'all asked me about uh, how I take with my uh, SA200. Pretty simple process. Negative polarity into my TIG rig. Positive into my ground. That's pretty much it. And for the actual machine, you don't do anything at all. You basically leave it how it is. There's no special thing for Tigger stick. If you want to go back to stick, you just fucking leave the machine the same way. The only thing you do is change the polarity around opposite to what it is now. Okay, so I went and fixed that repair. Now it's time to go back into the truck and finish playing Call of Duty. I'm gonna start adding some of y'all. We can just bullshit on there and just play the game. And if y'all wanna ask me anything about welding, we could uh, talk about it or whatever. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you now, my name is Rico Shot U. So y'all can go ahead and add me on there. And uh, maybe we could start picking like a certain night where, we, where some of us can get on there and play against other people. And we could just bullshit, you know, if y'all wanna talk about welding or whatever it is. We could get on there. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I ain't that good. I ain't a professional and I, I'm not a real hardcore gamer, but I ain't gonna come in last place, I'll tell you that much. I wish I could have showed you some more stuff, but this is it for today, guys. I mean, I ain't do much. Project's almost done. Everything is just low welding here and there, but I hope I was able to teach you something new today. I'll be posting way more uh, videos on the field. But make sure you hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.